now uh, these four resolutions spectral spatial temporal and radiometric resolutions and now moving towards the spectral resolution which is spectral resolution describes the ability of a sensor to define five wave fine wavelength intervals now we we can say uh, uh, it uh, you know uh, we talked in the initial lectures we talked about uh, panchromatic band which is a single band as it uh, has uh, uh, you know uh, captures image in a single uh, uh, band a uh, single uh, wavelength range or single band and we have a multispectral band which has bands more than 3 uh, and not more than 10 uh, usually uh, then in that case we can say the image has been captured in say 6 bands 7 bands or 10 bands uh, means the information is available in those 10 bands only means some of the information in between those bands uh, band bands pertaining to different wavelengths may be missing and then we have hyperspectral which has a continuity of spectrum which has a continuity of spectrum unlike multispectral which uh, which has breaks in between means you have information in these wavelengths but in between these wavelengths you have missing uh, data but in case of hyperspectral you have a continuity of data almost all the wavelengths are represented so this refers to the number of bands in the spectrum in which the instrument can take measurements higher spatial resolution means better ability to exploit differences in spectral signatures if uh, you know we have a, um, a homogeneous material low resolution uh, you know data will also work but if there is a lot of heterogeneity the things are changing abruptly you got to have a high spectral resolution means hyperspectral that's why to in in uh, hyperspectral resolution is applicable to geology uh, you know for studies of uh, geological studies because soil uh, as a whole is very uh, dynamic and is very changing uh, swiftly from one place to another uh, based on its composition so hyperspectral range and it may have ingredients from place to place that may reflect in different kinds of wavelengths so hyperspectral uh, data in that case is uh, has the chances to record all the reflected energies uh, of that uh, substance or for that matter any any other thing now uh, this is uh, how spectral characteristics looks uh, in the form of red green and blue values this is single band uh, 3 3 and 3 this is multi band image uh, placed 3 2 and 1 this is multi multi band image placed in a, in the sequence of 1 2 and 3 so you can see how the characteristics of the vegetation change once we change the band combinations and this is when uh, bands 4 5 and 3 are looked at you know the uh, imagery uh, uh, you know uh, look of the imagery completely changes this is when band uh, bands 4 ba band 4 band 2 and band 1 are seen in a sequence the image completely takes a different turn and uh, this is how band 4 3 and 2 looks like in a composite way uh, when looked at uh, you know uh, uh, on the on the monitor and you must know that band 1 here pertains to blue, band 2 here pertains to green, band 3 here pertains to red, band 4 here pertains to near infrared, band 5 to mid infrared and band 6 to mid infrared. Then uh, this is what gives rise to uh, the different band combinations What uh, if you place those in, uh, in uh, them in the sequence of 3, 2 and 1 band or 1, 2 and 3 band or 4, 5 and 6 band, this gives rise to true color composites and false color composites now in this band if you see one two and three it looks like the vegetation is in green it looks looks like a this looks like a true color composite uh, tcc but uh, when uh, uh, when you see things like uh, uh, you know four three and two uh, here or 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 uh, or four two or one it looks like it gives a false color composite and uh, this is how it looks like and the image when seen in a true color composite looks like this all the vegetation you see here uh, it looks in green you can see here the trees and this these are the buildings which look in their original color but when 
you make you view the image in a different band combination different band uh, combination sequence maybe 4 3 2 uh, sequence of bands the Im image may look like this in which you can see vegetation is in red now preferably you want to observe things in false color composite and that too in standard false color composite where the vegetation looks in red because you already studied that vegetation absorbs strongly and uh, you know uh, this uh, uh, you know lower wavelengths and uh, uh, reflects in higher wavelengths and you know that red has a higher wavelength so the vegetation is probably going to reflect high in uh, you know red wavelength means even the slightest difference in vegetation will be recorded by the reflection pattern in red so next type of resolution is spatial resolution uh, which uh, refers to and the amount of detail that can be detected by a sensor and it it is resembles the resolution of your uh, mobile phone wherein you say it's a high resolution phone or low resolution phone and uh, you can understand it uh, in a much better way that resolution depends on uh, so many things uh, instantaneous field of view it is defined as a solid angle one is a plane angle and another is a solid angle uh, you know it is defined as the solid angle through which a detector is sensitive to radi radiation this is a detector which is placed on a sensor and this is the uh, lens through which the uh, you know radiations pass and this is your uh, field this is your field of view and this is the sur surface where from you are getting the uh, getting the information so instantaneous field of view will depend on d upon f d means detector dimension the dimension of this detector what is the dimension of de this detector the spatial resolution will depend on this uh, the uh, size of this detector and f is the focal length the focal length of the lens that you are going to use uh, and um, ultimately the ground resolution uh, ground res uh, ground resolution el element will depend on instantaneous field uh, uh, field of view into flying height so instantaneous field of view is uh, uh, derived from this formula which depends on detector size and the focal length and ultimately uh, uh, flying height also comes uh, in the formula which is ifov um, when multiplied by height gives you the uh, ground resolution element this is how the resolution changes iconos has a one meter resolution KVR has a 2 meter resolution, IRS has a 5 meter resolution and then uh, the things go like that, uh, th 10, 10 meter resolution, 30 meter resolution, 1 kilometer and 50 kilometer resolution. These are diff different, these are the, the sensors, uh, spatial resolution from sensors from different satellites. Now what is it, what, what is the desirable, desirable spatial resolution for different kinds of studies? In metrology, cloud for studying cloud patterns and movement or water vapor analysis one to two kilometer re resolution will be sufficient for oceanography 300 to 1100 meter uh, spatial resolution will be uh, sufficient for to study uh, land use for crop monitoring forest mapping hydrology uh, um, it, uh, 20 to 30 meter uh, resolution will be enough for cartography and urban planning uh, which needs high spatial resolution which is uh, of the cadastral level mapping 2 to 6 meter resolution will be enough for military surveillance uh, where high accuracy is needed less than 1 meter resolution will be enough now talking about radiometric resolution third, the third type of resolution means uh, uh, the radiometric resolution of an imaging system describes its ability to discriminate very slight differences in energy now uh, uh, the finer the radiometric resolution of a sensor the more sensitive it is to detecting small differences in reflected or emitted energy now we can uh, we understand it in the form of uh, we can understand uh, roughly it in the form of a brightness you know when the brightness is uh, good enough we can see the things clearly when the brightness is uh, low the things become uh, difficult to be uh, to understand now to further understand this was just an example to understand it in a realistic way we know that when we uh, go to purchase a computer from market we 
uh, looking for whether, uh, whether our laptop is a uh, you know 8 bit or 16 bit or 32 bit or 64 bit now what does that mean uh, if your picture is black and white uh, black starting from here and white up to this level it has uh, this is completely black it has in between it might have any number of tones in uh, any number of the number of tones uh, starts from very very dark black to white tone this forms the black and white now how many to in between tones you can have whether for uh, black color or whether for uh, red color or green color maybe this is red color uh, so you have here you will have extremely red and you will have very 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 slight uh, red so in between you can have any number of tones now the how many are will be the number of tones will depend on its radiometric resolution if you have one bit uh, data one bit means one raised power two and that means uh, uh, two uh, sorry uh, one bit data means two raised power one means it has uh, uh, it has two uh, uh, two uh, tonal variations zero and two now if we say we have uh, two bit data means two raised power two bit data means two raised power four two raised power four means Two bit data mm, uh, two uh, into two is equal to four. That means we have we have four uh, four uh, you know uh, uh, tones uh, four tones of any particular color. If you have uh, eight bit data means two raised power eight. Two raised power eight is two fifty two fifty six. There will be two fifty six tonal variations. And if you have likewise, if you have uh, 64 uh, bit data you will have 2 raised power 64 uh, tonal variations in between black and white or in between red and uh, and uh, the other extreme end of the red this is how we understand the uh, radiometric resolution now we have another type of resolution which is known as temporal resolution it represents the frequency with which a satellite can revisit an area of interest and acquire an image. Temporal resolution is nothing but when a satellite is uh, revolving around the earth and it uh, and the time it takes to reach the, to the same destination where it started, uh, the time it may take 7 days, it may take 24 days, it may take, take 30 days. So we call that temporal resolution of this satellite is 5 days or 24 days or 30, uh, uh, 30 days. So it represents the frequency with which a satellite can revisit an area uh, of interest and acquire a new image. This is about uh, temporal resolution. Now how the temporal resolution needs cater to different uh, sciences, Met metrological we need early, early information. So the temporal resolution has to be in hours. And uh, oceanographic, we need two to three days of temporal resolution. For stereo viewing, we need very short, zero to one day of repetitivity. And for vegetation monitoring, five days of repeti repetitivity could be uh, enough to uh, study the changes uh, in, in the vegetation. That's all about resolution and its type. I hope you understood all about resolution. Thank